welcome to the new and familiar face of God and speaks for the whole family. Today, Father Brian celebrates his Mass with us with Father Pat. Something to think about today and during this week ahead. Worrying doesn't change anything, but trusting in God changes everything. Please stand as we sing.
And Lord Jesus, you are Emmanuel, God with us. You have come into our world to reveal the Father's love. Lord, have mercy. Lord. And Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. You overcome the power of sin and death. You reconcile us to the Father and with one another. Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. You give hope. You draw all nations to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
will dwell in a place, Lord, God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God.
increased in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. PC world, Mary and Joseph would most likely be reported by some good concerned person to the ministry of vulnerable children who <coughs> have been neglectful of their son. But thankfully, the scriptures are not set in a PC society. There's also a little message there. Mary and Joseph assumed that Jesus was with the caravan. A little lesson, even for Mary and Joseph, don't assume, look for the facts. So anyway, Mary and Joseph learned a lesson, be a bit more careful, don't assume anything next year when they uh, went down to Jerusalem. Because the reading says that they went down every year. Now that's a big effort. A lot of people would not have made that effort. Would have been a huge caravan of people going down. So not everyone would make that effort or afford it. But the scriptures tell us here that they went down to Jerusalem every year. And so they went down for this feast of the Passover. Mary and Joseph had been in Jerusalem for some time to participate in the feast of the Passover. So it implied they would have had a meal with, with a group of people that you didn't eat on your own on the, on the Passover. That they went to the temple. And so it's reminded to us they were faithful religious people. And after the celebrations, which would have had some party aspect as well as prayer, on their way home to Nazareth, Jesus became separated. And then the scriptures say, three days later, which has a New Testament motif, especially around the Easter season, three days later. Where do they find them? In the temple. And after their reunion, the conversation is not what you would expect. Mary and Joseph were upset, stressed by Jesus' disappearance. And they conveyed that to Jesus. But Jesus' response to Mary's comment about why did you stay in the temple? Who looked after him? Someone looked after him and fed him. So Jesus' response to Mary saying, why did you stay in the temple? And that they had, that Mary and Joseph had been worried. Well, Jesus' response was not an apology, but simply to say, a bit of a shock, did you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? Well, I don't think anyone on the first reading of the scriptures would expect that answer. We anticipate it because we know the story. So there must be something behind it. It's just not a knee-jerk reaction. There must be something behind this answer. And one thing that Jesus was saying, one thing about his response, was saying that it is, that it is, a, that it is important to surrender to the will of God. And if we surrender to the will of God, then we find our identity and our mission. We have a purpose in life. We're not running around in circles trying to find out who I am and what I should do. 
We surrender to God's will in our life, our identity and mission is before us. After he makes this comment or response, what does he do? He then went back with them to Nazareth and lived under their authority. And by living under their authority, there was a consequence. By living under their authority, what happened to him? He grew in wisdom and stature and in favour with God. So he surrendered himself to God's will. And today's feast of the Holy Family reminds us to surrender to God's will, but also to be respectful to the family. Then there is no negative ambition or strife within the family. And the family is holy in the true sense of being holy, which is different than being pious. Well, our parish has the Holy Family as its patron. So may we continue to learn to surrender to God's will and to be respectful to and of one another. We now proclaim what we believe. I believe in God.
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us now pray that this our offering of bread and wine may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father.
we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Sin and safe from all distress, as we await the 
blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
Next Sunday we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany, which is the last day of Christmas. In the old days it was, in New Zealand anyway, it was celebrated on the 6th of January, still is in many countries, but we, like many other major feasts, move it to the Sunday. So if you're trying to get 12 days of Christmas, it doesn't work out always, but um, that's the theory. And that's how you get to know those Get a piece of Christmas cake, get the 12 months, don't you? You go and visit someone every day. So, um, so make the most of the following week, it's all Christmas. Time to um, rejoice and be like the kings. Go for trips abroad and, get to, and take some gifts. Let's now stand for our prayer of thanksgiving. heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world we may share their company forever, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Lord's blessings be with you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace of the Lord to announce the good news. Amen. Amen.